Nikolai Krasnogorsky is attempting to train the subconscious minds of orphans to react at his command, just like his mentor, Ivan Pavlov, did to dogs. Instead of the bell Pavlov used for his dogs, Krasnogorsky applies pressure to the boy's wrist to signal that food is coming. The machine immediately feeds the child a cookie. He records the child's salivation levels. And repeat. When he believes that the child's unconscious mind has learned to associate the signal with food, Krasnogorsky gives the signal, but no food. Just like Pavlov's dogs, the boy salivates and swallows, not because of food, but because of Krasnogorsky's signal. Krasnogorsky has proven a human mind can be trained as easily as a dog's to react to a signal with an unthinking reflex. It's working! <laughs> For over a decade, Krasnogorsky experiments on dozens of orphans strapped inside his machine. He discovers differences between the reactions of dogs and humans. 150 strokes per minute, conditioned stimulus. Unlike dogs, humans can separate subtle changes in the stimulus. Predictive response. Children trained to salivate when hearing a metronome beat one rhythm automatically ignore it when the rhythm is changed. 78 strokes per minute, unconditioned stimulus. The child's conscious mind associates clicks with food, but the unconscious reflex of salivation can differentiate one rhythm from another. No response. It worked. Well, as it turns out, humans are much more sophisticated in our responses to stimuli than are animals. We can, for example, distinguish between very fine differences in a stimuli, and we learn things faster and retain them longer. <laughs> Nikolai Ivanovich, what you are doing here, it's... It's inspired. Ivan Pavlov is captivated by the results. Fascinating. So the question is, at what stage of development does the reflex become active? Krasnogorsky concluded that there was a mechanistic explanation of the mind. All behavior was the result of either innate responses, like salivating to food, for example, or learned responses, which we had accumulated throughout our lives. So, once you work out the details, it's conceivable that if you could record all of the events that someone had undergone, then you could completely predict behavior. It was the inspiration behind the most popular form of therapy today, cognitive behavioral therapy, which treats psychological disorders by training patients in learned responses, which bears a similarity to conditioning. We do not know the fate of Krasnogorsky's test subjects. Keep still. But they changed our world proving that conditioning the subconscious human mind is no more challenging than training that of an animal. In the end, we are all Pavlov's children. Remember that as you watch the commercials.